In this video, I'm going to explain the reasons why Hurricane Lee is not going to hit the United States. I don't usually make videos with these titles, but I felt like this was necessary at this time. There's been a lot of attention being given to this storm on the internet, perhaps too much, and it has definitely caused fear and raised questions about the storm's path and potential impacts. Before I explain where the storm is going, let's go over what we do know. Hurricane Lee is a Category 2 hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean as of Thursday afternoon. It has begun rapid intensification trends as satellite images clearly show. As we go through time, the storm will continue intensifying before building up into an extremely powerful Category 5 hurricane by Saturday as it passes safely to the north of the Caribbean. The reason why the track only goes out for about five days is because there's simply too much uncertainty that far out. While it is useful and important to watch trends ahead of time, there's no need to worry about anything beyond that considering this is almost a week away. So why exactly do I say that Hurricane Lee will not hit the US? Reason number one, the upper level pattern. When making forecasts, we can't just focus on what's going on near the surface because everything is connected to what goes on multiple miles above us. Around the time frame that the National Hurricane Center's forecast ends, we expect a northward turn. This would spare the U.S. from being impacted by this hurricane, and it's all being caused by an incoming cold front that will move through. The cold front will be followed by a large high-pressure area which naturally serves as a wall against storms. Because of the upper-level winds, cold front, and high pressure combined, we expect the storm to be pushed away from the east coast. Another thing I wanted to show you is the spaghetti models. This is a map of just a bunch of model runs put together to see what the overall trend is. When you see these lines bunched together, that means that they are in solid agreement. You can see an example of that within the next five days. Once the lines start spreading out, that's when you know uncertainty is rising. So what's the takeaway? Regarding the path of the storm, model agreement is closely in line with what the National Hurricane Center is predicting, which shows a general west-northwestward track over the next five days. This is the time frame which matters the most. Secondly, all weather models are in solid agreement in a northward turn, which would save the U.S. from getting severe impacts. Thirdly, continue to keep an eye on trends after this northward turn. Remember not to get too stuck on every model run you see. Look for trends. Then, when the National Hurricane Center's forecast starts getting in range, then we will have an improving idea of what to expect. And lastly, don't write the storm off completely. Without panicking, continue remaining vigilant if you are New England or Atlantic Canada. While it's too early to start preparing for this storm, make sure you keep checking official weather sources for the latest and most accurate information. That's all for this video. If you do enjoy these reports and you appreciate the no-hype information, please do consider subscribing and staying tuned for the latest videos.